Hello and welcome to the World Justice Project. Thank you, thank you. Could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your project with the World Justice Project? Yeah, my name is Ta Bisong Frambo. I serve as uh, the in-country director for the Global Citizens Initiative. Uh, the Global Citizens Initiative is a US-based, Massachusetts-based uh, initiative that seeks to build a network of uh, people who view themselves as global citizens and advocate for global values, including the rule of law, good governance, poverty alleviation, and, and stuff like that. Uh, we are a grantee of the Opportunity Fund, the Matthews B. Opportunity Fund of the uh, World Justice Project. And the fund is going to help us uh, uh, implement our project on the Cameroon Healthcare Access which uh, aims at stemming uh, the practice of corruption as it manifests itself in the public health care system of the country. Can you tell me what was it that inspired your project? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, the Cameroon, uh, Cameroon is far uh, down the trail in um, the world, uh, the uh, uh, world Justice uh, uh, Index, uh, the Rule of Law Index of the World Justice Project. We are far down the trail and Cameroon is uh, also telling um, the, the scale in terms of its uh, pay the peer countries around Cameroon. So we uh, identified that the problem of corruption uh, had a very negative impact on the livelihood of Cameroonians, especially uh, patients who, despite the open access policy of government to uh, guarantee and fund treatment and care in some of the basic ailments, including HIV, AIDS, malaria, tuberculosis, still had to pay bribes to obtain these services, which uh, were supposed to be free. Great, thank you. And can you talk a little bit about how the World Justice Project has helped you to create a solution to the problem in your country? The, the World Justice Project, through uh, uh, its rule of law index, uh, helped us to identify that there was work to be done in this particular sector in Cameroon. So uh, they provided us with uh, support, material and financial support. And we are having some technical expertise in collaboration with our uh, head office located in Massachusetts uh, to design a monitoring and, um, uh, monitoring and evaluation system such that we could have a pre and post project scenarios to see effectively what uh, our behavior change trainings and our consumer social marketing programs have uh, achieved in terms of reducing the impact of corruption in the livelihoods of Cameroonians. Great, thank you. And are there any partners that you're working with in this project or are you attempting to implement it alone? Uh, sure, it, it's, it's, it's practically impossible to uh, implement such a huge uh, project alone. We have formed a strategy, a national health care access strategy uh, that has brought uh, onto a single platform uh, the National Anti-Corruption Commission of the country, uh, the Ministry of Public Health of Cameroon, and we have brought in six like-minded like uh, uh, non-governmental organizations, including the Royal Commonwealth Society of Cameroon, uh, Hope Outreach Association, uh, and this coalition is led by an organization that has uh, more than a decade experience in, in the field. This organization is called Developing Africa. So we're working uh, uh, from a multidisciplinary context that uh, includes members of uh, a well, uh, well set up uh, coalition. Great. Thank you. It's always wonderful when people can share a success story of the kind of impact that their project has achieved. In your case, your project is just starting, so it may be right. soon for that. But do you have any stories of, of people who've been affected by the challenges with healthcare and corruption that you can share? Sure. Uh, in Cameroon, we 
I remember meeting uh, a member, one uh, member of the uh, Association of uh, AIDS Infected and Affected Persons in Cameroon, who had uh, gone to one of the medical facilities to get antiretroviral treatment, which uh, the government uh, has subsidized. So basically free. And she confessed to me that um, that she was asked to pay a, a bribe to to get access to just a unique treatment of uh, uh, of her antiretroviral treatment. We are currently working with the National Anti Corruption Commission to identify the staff who uh, 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 kind of wanted to uh, uh, involve her in this um, uh, corrupt practice. And eventually, we would uh, allow the Anti-Corruption Commission, in its regular mission of uh, carrying out an investigation on corrupt practices and uh, tabling the matter to the legal system of Cameroon, we would allow the Anti-Corruption Commission to go through uh, the process. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. The last question is, what advice would you give to somebody who's struggling with a rule of law challenge in their own country? and is trying to find a solution? Uh, that's, that's kind of, that's a good, a, a good question. In, in Cameroon, uh, what we do is, beyond our consumer social marketing uh, platform, which kind of invites citizens who are faced with rule of, rule of law issues to go through us and get uh, the situation fixed, we are uh, running uh, a social media campaign that consists of uh, making available uh, our Twitter and Facebook accounts. And more importantly, we uh, are putting up a toll-free number. So I would eventually advise that in countries where citizens are faced with uh, rule of law issues and have difficulties with uh, uh, getting their issues on the uh, public agenda, it's uh, important for them to, you know, uh, find out one of the most accessible ways of communicating in uh, this uh, century is going through uh, social media and touching the exact persons who could hear out their voices and help them uh, take their voices to uh, agenda to the agenda setting tables. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. You're welcome.